Hello everyone, welcome back to Space Flight Simulator. Today, our goal is to land a habitation module on the surface of Mars. Okay, we need to design a habitation module and I want it to be modular so we could add to it in the future. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking for the habitation module. So we need to land this thing on the surface of Mars. And then we could launch more and connect them uh, from the docking ports. So let's just see how well this works. So I'm thinking that the main form of propulsion is going to be RCS, which it does move left and right, which is really all we need it to do. Um, how much fuel do we have from it? Maybe we put a little bit more fuel into it. If I drained the fuel tanks um, because I didn't want a ton of fuel in them. Yeah, how about that? Does it still go side to side? Yes, it does. Okay, so that should be good. Um, it only has 15% of its available fuel capacity, but that should be completely fine because we're just really maneuvering it. And then we're going to build a little thing to go around it. So basically these parachutes are gonna go out and slow it down. Um, I better make sure that those parachutes are enough. Beautiful. Okay, so this will work. Okay, so now we have the issue of heating. We need to be able to stop it from burning up. So I say we use something like this while it's going through the atmosphere. And then we have a big heat shield on the bottom. And then once we get through that, we can undock it here and then just use our parachutes like normal. So now we just need to get this thing to Mars. Let's build the rest of the rocket. Okay, here's my first attempt at the rocket build. Um, let's do some coloring and staging and then we'll get this thing going. Okay, uh, let's go for it. Three, two, one, launch. Okay, good launch. It's a very thick rocket with these side boosters looking tiny. Okay, launch looks good so far. Okay, so it looks like our middle part is going to run out before the side boosters, which is never good. That's a bad rocket design. We're actually slowing down, so it's still best to break them off. It looks like the launch will still go okay. Okay, we're reaching space now. We're going to cut the engines here. And then we just cruise on up all the way to space. And then right about here, we boost sideways. And this pushes us to orbit. Okay, we'll go to this stage now. And this will push us to orbit and hopefully push us to Mars. Okay, and almost to orbit. Boom. Reach low Earth orbit. Perfect. So now what we want to do is locate Mars on the map. Here it is, Mars. And we're going to click navigate to. And this is going to give us a transfer window right here. So we're going to warp to our transfer window. So now Earth is in a transfer window. And then we wait for a rocket to be in a transfer window right here. So we warp to that transfer window too. And this will give us a speed we have to reach to get to Mars. So we got to go 800 meters per second faster than we're going right now. And that'll put us in line to reach Mars. So we're going to aim on our trajectory like this and just start burning. And we should have enough to get there and slow down. Looks like this rocket was built almost perfectly for this mission. 50, 40, 30, 12, 11. Okay, so then right about here, I'm gonna use my RC. Once it goes to zero, that's how you know you have an encounter with Mars. So if we zoom in back on Mars, you'll see that this is our trajectory line. So we're gonna use RCS to position us even closer to Mars. We wanna be almost hitting Mars, but not hitting it. So here's our trajectory. You can see it's slowly decaying, but as soon as we time warp, it'll kind of lock in wherever it shows. So we're just gonna wait a minute for it to drop down a little more. Okay, right about here, we're gonna start to time warp and that'll lock our position here. So we can actually click on this spot and it'll time warp all the way. So we just left the Earth, Earth's right there, and then here's Mars and we're about to meet up with it. I kinda wanna watch the encounter. So here's Mars, here's our rocket, and let's just speed up time and watch it meet. You can see in the plane of the solar system, Mars and our rocket are moving, but if you zoom in enough on Mars, it'll lock Mars, and you can see that it's just our, like relative to Mars, our rocket's moving towards it. Gonna pop in the sphere of influence now, and then we're gonna wait until it's as at its closest point.
A little more. Hopefully we don't hit Phobos or Deimos. Looks like we'll be good. Closer right. There. Okay, now we're going to use pretty much the rest of our fuel, it looks like, to slow down. And this will put us into orbit around Mars. Okay, you can see our orbital line is dropping. Yeah, this rocket seems like perfect for this mission. And then we actually want it to barely scrape the atmosphere like that. Okay, so now we can actually open our fairing. Perfect. And then get this thing down to Mars. So hopefully this heat shield is enough to slow us down. Um, and we're going to warp to our... When we're about to touch down on Mars. So we're getting ready to enter Mars's atmosphere. And Mars's atmosphere is a lot thinner than Earth's atmosphere. So it's not going to slow us down as much as Earth will. So we want to be facing directly away because that's the direction that our heat shield is going. So our heat shield is going to absorb all the heat that the atmosphere is going to put on us and convert that into energy. Are we going the right way? Or I think we'd be facing this way. Maybe. This looks better, I think. I think it's um, determining our position from this one. It, it thinks this is the front, which is fine. That works. Okay, here we go. Dropping into Mars. Okay, it looks okay so far. You can see our velocity starting to drop. And our height right here, we want to be careful. We're going pretty much sideways, which is exactly what we want to slow down uh, the most. And then once we stop burning, we can attempt to open our parachutes. Once we slow down and are not slowing down anymore. Okay, we entered the lower atmosphere. Still slowing down. Oh, oh, the ground's right there. Ah! <laughs> okay, load, load the save. Open the chutes, hurry. And undock. Ah! Oh, we're so close. Okay, okay. Okay, we're, we're back up here in the atmosphere. I'm gonna get a stage ready to undock and open our chutes at the same time. So we can just hit that button and then go. Okay, um, once we get probably a few, maybe a kilometer above the surface, we will activate that. So we do wanna try to slow down as much as we can just from our heat shield. Okay, we stop burning. Um, our height's right here and here's our velocity. And we're getting closer to the surface, as you can see. So I might do our thing now. Okay, I'm going to break off now. And don't spin, don't spin. Oh, we lost an RCS thruster. Shoots go. Landing legs go. And hopefully we can slow down enough. Okay, we're going 13 meters per second. And if we use RCS, we can kind of slow that down even more. Okay, here we go. We're landing on Mars. This looks like a pretty flat area. Looks like our plan worked pretty well. I'm gonna use the RCS to try to get us slow as possible. 8.9 meters, don't break. Yes, the landing legs suspension worked. Okay, we landed in Arcadia Planeta. Theoretically, humans could be in here, but we need humans to have a colony, right? So I'm gonna launch another one and try to meet it up with this one and see if we can get them to touch. Cause you can see, you can see we can move it. So if we launch another one, my thought is maybe we can get them to dock with each other if I land it in relatively the same spot. And we should be able to launch this exact same one and try to get it into the same spot. So I'm gonna time-lapse to Mars orbit. Okay, we're slowing down now to Mar low Mars orbit. Boom. Okay, so here's our current rocket that we're in right now, which we can actually open this part. You can see our next habitation module, and here is our... Why is there two? Switch to... Oh, this is debris. Is it this one? Yes. Destroy. Okay, so let's name it actually. Module 1. So this is module one right here. And so we need to get our current rocket, which is in orbit right now. So this is module two and this is module one. So we need to make them meet up. So if we wait until it's about right here and then we start to slow down, we can kind of position the orbit to touch it, right? Something like this.
And then we should just be able to wait it out, right? Well, the atmosphere is going to do a little bit of slowing, so let's go with that. So let's detach. Add a new stage here. And this stage will detach you and activate the parachutes. Okay, let's get to the atmosphere. So we actually figured out we want to aim towards the atmosphere to get the most effective slowdown like this. Like this. Okay, let's watch our line. And I think it'll start to shrink as we go down. Okay, here we go. Entering the atmosphere. We're starting to burn a little bit. Hopefully we meet up with our module one. We're still speeding up, but we should start to slow down any second now. Okay, rapidly slowing. And then once we get right above it, I'm going to parachute. As soon as it stops burning, we got to detach. Come on. Right there. I know, I know. It's bad. Oh, only one parachute survived. That's not enough. Ah! <laughs> okay, one more try. We got it this time. This is the time I can feel it. Oh, oh, other parachute. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. Legs, go. Okay, we lost the docking port, but we can use this other one. Ah! <gasps> oh my. <laughs> okay, how far are we from it? Okay, it's not even that far. So, RCS. Go. Move us over there. This is, this is the sketchiest thing ever. Can we see it? It can't be that far, right? Oh, I see it. It's right there. We're gonna make it. Oh wait, but the problem is the docking port's on the other side. Oh, I hit a bump! No! Okay, we actually do need to rotate it, so get rotated. It looks like a... What does that look like? It looks like a, a ray gun or something. Oh, slow down! Slow down, slow down! Ah! Okay, don't break that one off. Oh boy. Okay. Let's switch to this one. This one's in a lot better shape and dock it with that one and let's try to get them docked okay oh it's so close it's literally yes okay dot that looks good to me okay we colonized mars in space flight simulator if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like on it. Leave more suggestions for things to do in Space Flight Simulator down in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Join my Discord server. Link will be in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.